CBC stands for complete blood count. It is a laboratory test that is advised by the physicians to diagnose various types of disease conditions those are related to human blood. The test is minimally invasive. It requires a certain small amount of blood to be drawn from the body. Then the blood sample is placed in a cell counter machine. The result is then obtained from the machine in a printed form. The CBC test result has three parts. Total count of RBC or red blood cells, total count of WBC or white blood cells, and total count of platelets. Before we go into further discussion, it is important that we learn about units of measurement that is used in complete blood count test. First one is the gram per deciliter unit. A deciliter is one tenth of a liter, which means one liter is equal to 10 deciliters. So, deciliter is a unit of volume measurement of a fluid that is smaller than the liter. A gram per deciliter unit means how many grams of a substance that is present in one deciliter of a particular fluid. Therefore, 12 gram per deciliter means there is 12 grams of a substance that is present in each deciliter of a certain fluid. A per cubic millimeter, also written as per millimeter cube, is another unit of measurement of the volume of a fluid. One cubic millimeter of a fluid means a cube of certain fluid that has one millimeter length, one millimeter width, and one millimeter height. For example, if the measurement says 5 per cubic millimeter, it means there are 5 small substances those are present in each cubic millimeter of that fluid. Sometimes cubic millimeter is expressed as microliter. 1 cubic millimeter is the same as 1 microliter. The unit of measurement for the volume of an RBC or a platelet is called femtoliter. A femtoliter is a very very small volume which is one quadrillionth of a liter. Therefore, one liter equals to one quadrillion femtoliter. It is an unimaginably small number. It is so small that one drop of water has approximately a volume of 50 billion femtoliters. A picogram is one trillionth of a gram, which means one gram is equal to one trillion picograms. Picogram is not the unit of volume measurement. It is the unit of measurement of mass. One picogram is so tiny that a small blackberry has a mass of 500 billion picograms. A normal healthy human being has approximately 4.5 to 6.5 billion red blood cells per cubic millimeter of blood. Therefore, if a normal human being has 5 liters of blood in his body, which means there is approximately 32 trillions of red blood cells in the body constantly circulating the circulatory system. After the red cell count, the most important indicator is called the hematocrit value, which is often written as HCT. It is also known as the Paxil volume or PCV. It is defined as the volume percentage of red cells in the blood. Let's look at the picture of the test tube. Please notice that the test tube contains blood. The blood has been divided into three segments. Upper segment is called the plasma. Middle segment contains all the leukocytes and thrombocytes. And the lower segment contains tightly packed erythrocytes, which is why it is called pack cell volume. Let's say this imaginary test tube contains 10 ml blood and the volume of the packed RBC below is 4.5 ml. In percentage form, the amount of RBC here will be 45% to the total amount of blood. And this is the hematocrit value. Normal hematocrit or pack cell volume can range from 40 to 54% for male and 37 to 47% for the female. 